didn't end up thinking it was larger than it was, he would have been able to look and go, oh yeah, I'm I'm more than defended. I'm going to make drones. I'm going to upgrade. I think that's another thing that really wounded him, the fact that his upgrades were a little bit behind. So just squeezing out a little bit of extra of those stuff, I think is going to be fantastic. So that is definitely, I think, what, what Zion could have done in those early stages to chip ahead a little bit. And the other big thing I think he should have done is generally after you kill a huge force, if you have a big unit advantage, you should think to yourself, ooh, that might mean I'm a little bit behind on economy. Expand twice when you're in that situation. Kill your gold, take the other expansion, pressure me, come to my front, make me go, ooh, and make me build cannons, go to my back and make me go, oh, I gotta build cannons here. And then just retreat. You'll be in great shape. Again, that's something that I think I should have done with my warp gate force. Just sentried his front and then pulled back and then w went away. So I think that was, I think that's suave and fancy. Um, do, 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 do. What is going on? Um, what is going on? What is some other things that are happening? Hmm. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, there, there's some other people. Um, this is a note that Virus171 um, made where he said that there are several games where the Protoss fast expanded and was easily defeated by a Nidus Worm. Um, so that actually is a great example. Nida, or Nazgul against Gerard, if any of you haven't seen those series. Really cool use of Nidus Worms and, and some interesting defense going on by Protoss there. Um, and that's one thing to note is that, especially with these one-gate plays, you end up surging forward with a lot of pressure, and then you pull way back, and you need a good timing window. Uh, you don't really have that many units. So that is another reason why I'm trying to do this sort of two-gate stuff. And for any of you who are having trouble with one-gates, definitely play around with doing some Nidus Worm attacks. Don't make nothing but units to where you have like eight drones at your expansion and you're like i'm all in with this nidus worm but you can just throw down one nidus network and just nidus worm around and just sort of probe at him you can think of the nidus networks almost like a mutilus harass in brood war where you can get in there do a little bit of damage and then happily run back because think about this if you unload a bunch of roaches and zerglings do some damage to his probes and then you see an army coming just run back into the nidus worm and then you're fine cool 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 little thing to think about so, 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 um, hmm, hmm, da -da -dum -dum. El Solar asks, do I feel that delaying the Robo Bay, meaning no observers, made you vulnerable to tech switches or cheese? You didn't notice he had Banelings until they had killed nine of your Templars. Uh, yes, I also didn't notice he had Banelings because I'm awful, <laughs> but I, I definitely think that my Robo Bay was a little bit late. Um, this mass warp gate style against, um, Zerg, I, I still have some uncomfortable points, some mental lapses, because again, I, I go for lower gateway mass colossus so much more often, that's pretty much historically been what I do, that I'm used to just having an observer. I'm used to just them being there in the mid game. I just sort of, oh yeah, totally already have detection. And in that game, I had that same feeling in my brain and totally wasn't true. So that is going to wrap up that. This VOD will be up on day9tv.blip.tv. And of course, go on my YouTube, youtube.com slash day9tv. Go to my Twitter, twitter.com slash day9tv. And um, yeah, you guys are awesome. I'm in a great mood. I think I might watch Up tonight with a buddy. We both watch Up at the same time on Netflix. So we're having an update. Yes, I did drink my funny juice before the cast. So, um... I think I had one more thing to say, but alas, it has escaped my brain. That's all for now, so take it easy. See ya.